Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to explore another scholarship opportunity at Ontario Tech University. It's a graduate funding for both PhD and Masters. So we are coming to explore the funding opportunities, the programs, the language proficiency and many other things that this scholarship would bring you. So now let's get straight into the video without talking much but if you're a new member please subscribe to the channel if this is your kind of content and recommend the channel to at least one person so now let's go straight to the language proficiency for international students so since i am from ghana and most of the students or most of the people that will be applying will be coming from outside countries that's most of them are from africa the english language proficiency is very key to applying to these universities outside okay so they said what all applicants are required to give evidence of their oral or written proficiency in english applicants who meet all admission requirements including english proficiency at the time of application will be given first priority consideration so it means that if you've not written any language test proficiency just like um let's say tofu you can still do the application by you will be giving a list priorities as in consideration for this particular scholarship but don't forget that there are a lot of students applying for this scholarship so you need to have a good result and then your application should be very tight before you can land it so now let's open it so that we can get more details of the language proficiency for international students so now let's read here so if you have studied for in any english speaking country for at least three years for your degree or any relevant program you've studied once the language of instruction is in english you are not required to submit any um, language test proficiency before you apply for this program so you can see that you have what they have stated here that if you have studied full time or at least three years or equivalent in part-time studies in in a university degree program where the language of instruction or examination was english or you have completed a university degree program where the language of instruction and examination was english the university of ontario institute of technology may ask you to provide official verification of the affirmations so once you've gone through this process it means that um there is no need for this um language test proficiencies but if in case you have not have any of this evidence or if not have a study of any program in an english speaking country you still want to apply then you should be able to write a TOEFL or any other exams that you can have for your language test preparation since you are going to study outside and language of instruction there is in english so these are the requirements that you need to meet before you do your application so now let's move straight forward and explore the programs that um you can run at this university ontario tech university so these are the programs that are available a lot of them for both masters and phd so you can go through and mix the one of your interest but for me i'm going to use computer science as a case study so computer science for masters program so you can just click on it and wait for the scholarship um to load so this is the program website okay so take your time and digest this very well if you don't understand anything there is a spot here that ask questions so you can click on it and ask your questions and they will reply for you and i would advise you try to find out if you need to contact any advisor or any person in the department before you do your application so if it is not stated in then just click on ask questions and ask whether you need to contact any professor in the university before you put in your application okay so now you could you still have to go through the application requirement so with this one the requirement is you have a gp of what 3.0 or 4.3 okay in ghana our gp ends at what 4.0 so you need to have it in 3.0 and 4.0 okay or you should have a better one that can uh, give you this scholarship because you know that definitely there are a lot of students applying with better grades so competition will be very tight for 
this particular um, program and then you should check the application deadline you should check the application deadline as well so now let's move to the finding after that then i'll come and take you through how to do the application okay then we'll go back to um other things okay so here you could see we have what the funding here so we have a lot of funding packages you have a entrance scholarship minimum funding package um teaching assistantship research assistantship and graduate research assistantship okay so if you want to read more about this then you just click on this graduate student award and funding so let's open it in a new tab and then let's explore further okay so we have um the scholarship packages here for graduate um student award that's for internal and donor awards requirements and then we have graduate student finance for ta ra and then gra okay for internal fundings so let's open both of them in a new tab and explore further so this part is external award for domestic graduate students so since we are international students who we'll come here so we have what external award for international students so we could see that we have some of them closed temporary but it will be open soon so you keep on checking the websites that you can um, put in your application okay so this one is closed then we have um this one to also currently close they have what ontario graduate um, scholarship currently open so it's worth what fifteen thousand canadian dollars or that's for, for full time and then five thousand canadian dollars for um part time all right so read more about this scholarship just by clicking here and then read more about the scholarship before you put in your application okay so we move on to the next one which is graduate funding so the graduate funding contains a lot so there's a document here that if you want to download and do more about the funding opportunities just click on it and then um you load it there are a lot of things here that you need to find out before you do your application okay so this document actually contains a lot so i would advise you take your time and then go through very well okay so this is um the minimum funding for graduate students just like we have seen in the previous page here you have minimum funding packages so the minimum funding packages is this one for the students we have what nine thousand canadian dollars we have what sixteen thousand canadian dollars for masters then we have what um doctor of philosophy that's phd you have what eighteen thousand canadian dollars okay so the nine thousand canadian dollars is for the health courses then um the sixteen thousand canadian dollars is for the applied science sciences just like the computer science you just explore okay so when you scroll down to there are more of them there is another one here for um graduate dn graduate scholarship for master's level which is three thousand Canadian dollars. They have what DN graduate scholarship for doctorate. That is PhD. You have four thousand five hundred dollars. Okay, so this investor actually allows you to have multiple fundings, so you don't have problem with applying for different different fundings to support yourself. Okay. Okay. So now, since we are done looking at this one, then let's go straight forward and look at the entrance scholarship for graduate students. Okay. So now we see how that one to is an, or what it actually presents to us. Okay. So entrance scholarship for graduate students. Um, graduate students. So let's search for it. Okay. So this is it here. So you just click on it and then wait for it to load. So we see the package that it's also present us with okay so we have what um the dn graduate scholarship are valued between three thousand and four thousand five hundred this is awarded to high achieving full-time and full-time students entering a research-based master's or doctorate program with an average of a minimum of 3.70 or 4.30 or greater okay so this is for high achieving students only okay so if you go and you study hard 
trust me you'll be able to land this uh, particular one with an ace okay so now let's go straight forward and see how we can put in our application okay so i'm scrolling back and go to how to apply then i'll click on what apply now so to load in a new tab when it's done loading then we we'll go through how to do put in the application one by one so okay so you can actually take your time and digest the things very well before you put in your application if you don't understand something my email will be in the description box just pick it up and email me i'll respond as quick as i can and then we get into a conversation all right so you just click on it here apply now then you take your time like i said digest everything very well before you put in your application okay so um you click on what proceed to online application then um you wait for it to load when it's done then you click on uh, agree now when you click on agree now wait for a while for it to load and agree again make sure you read everything so that you actually understand whatever it's written on the page before you agree to them okay some of them may not be in conformity with whatever you want to do okay so this is the portal actually so when you start to reach this level you just click on create an account create an account and then once you're done creating an account then you start with the application start putting in your application to the investing all right so thank you very much and then um thank you for watching the video to the end please make sure you subscribe to the channel if this is your kind of content and share this video with at least one person or recommend this channel to at least one person until i see you in my next video peace i'm out